Welcome to Creeped Out, a channel dedicated to scary stories. Some are true, some are from the imagination, some are from your dreams, others are from your nightmares. This incident occurred on Bull Run Road near Ames, Oregon. On July 2nd, at about 1.15 a.m., my brother James and I were bored with playing video games, so we decided to go on a late night drive. James set his GPS to a random road in the forest, and off we went on our late night journey. As we were driving in the forest, everything seemed to be fine. We saw a couple of deer and a skunk, but nothing out of the ordinary. It did seem a little creepy because we were driving through the forest at night, but nothing so bad as to make us feel as if we had to turn around and leave. We came upon a U-shaped part of the road. This incident took place right before the U. At this point, it's around 1.45 a.m. We had been driving in the forest for about 20 to 30 minutes. As I said earlier, everything was fine, and we felt fine too, but in an instant, my brother who was driving suddenly felt some bad vibes. He got a terrible feeling about a specific part of the road. He had an onslaught of emotions rush over him, an almost uncontrollable urge to start crying, and his voice was trembling as if he were freezing. As he was feeling like this, I have felt cemented in place, almost like I was hypnotized. I, I couldn't move. You know that feeling you get in your stomach when you're nervous or really anxious? That's how my whole body felt. All we could do was look straight ahead at the road. After seeing that I was frozen, my brother slammed on the brakes and made a three-point turn and zoomed out of there as fast as he could. But I didn't see us leave the area because I was having a vision. It seemed very real. It was like a waking dream. In my vision, I saw us continuing to drive on the road and curve around the U-shaped part of the road. On the other side of the U, I saw a ghost in a white dress just standing there in the middle of the road. That's when the vision ended and I could finally see what was actually happening. I suddenly see that we are speeding down the road to get out of the forest as fast as possible. I don't know how or why I saw what didn't happen. It's like I was in an alternate reality where we did continue down the road. James and I are thinking that my guardian angel must have been showing me what would have happened if we had continued down that road. The guardian angel is a whole other story, but it makes sense to us. Once we got out of the forest, we parked in the city to collect our thoughts and process what just happened to us. We had never heard of this place before and have no desire to go back there, ever. As for my brother and I, we will never forget how an evening that was supposed to be a peaceful night drive almost turned into a living nightmare.